Your body's fighting this silent battle right now. Your cells are slowly going deaf to insulin's signal. This is insulin resistance. You eat something, blood sugar goes up, and your pancreas starts pumping out more insulin. But your cells, they've stopped listening. And here's the thing. It's not really about the blood sugar itself. It's about your pancreas burning itself out, trying to compensate for those cells that just don't respond anymore. This high demand for insulin could walk you right into diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and many other health issues. So this needs to be fixed. In this video, we will be talking about a simple tea that modern science has proven can help you fight insulin resistance and keep your cells functioning properly with people taking it and seeing glucose improvements in as little as 10 days. I'm talking about cinnamon tea, but before you roll your eyes and think, great, another cinnamon video, this isn't about sprinkling it on your oatmeal. We're talking about a specific way to prepare it, a specific type, a specific dose, and some cutting edge mechanisms that most people don't even know about. But first, let's explain what insulin resistance is and what's going wrong with your cells. You see, your cells have doors. These doors are glucose transporters called GLUT4. They're supposed to open when insulin knocks on them. But instead, when you have insulin resistance, those doors remain stuck. So your pancreas produces more insulin, knocking harder and harder, trying to force those doors open. Eventually, your pancreas can't keep up. Your beta cells, the cells that actually produce insulin in the pancreas, start to fail. That's when prediabetes becomes type 2 diabetes. The key isn't just about lowering blood sugar, though. It's getting your cells to respond to normal amounts of insulin again. And this is where cinnamon tea can help. You see, cinnamon contains a compound called cinnamaldehyde. And what researchers discovered is that cinnamaldehyde works on multiple pathways simultaneously. First, it helps open those GLUT4 doors. A study in the Journal of Functional Foods found that cinnamon improves GLUT4 transport function. Think of it like WD-40 for those stuck cellular doors, making your cells more responsive to insulin, lowering the need for it, and placing less stress on your beta cells. Second, it blocks the enzymes that spike your blood glucose, alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase. They're like molecule scissors that chop up starches so your body can absorb them as glucose. Cinnamon blocks these enzymes. So when you eat carbs, they can't be broken down really quickly. They slow down the digestion and the distribution of these carbs into your bloodstream, giving you a smaller spike and reducing how much insulin your pancreas needs to pump out. Scientists have actually measured this happening in labs. The more cinnamon, the more these enzymes get blocked. Third, it reduces the stress on your pancreas by blocking those enzymes and opening those GLUT4 doors, giving your beta cells a break from working overtime because they're not constantly trying to compensate for resistant cells. As studies have shown, the more insulin resistant someone is, the more benefit they get from cinnamon, allowing the pancreas to operate closer to its normal capacity instead of being chronically stressed. And that's a big plus for long-term metabolic health. Let me give you the real numbers from real studies now. One study took people with diabetes and had them drink cinnamon tea for about 10 days. Average glucose drop, 15.95 points. Another study used three to six grams of cinnamon daily for 40 days. They saw significant improvements in both fasting glucose and post-meal glucose levels. A randomized controlled trial in Brazil gave 160 people with type 2 diabetes either 3 grams of cinnamon or a placebo for 90 days. The cinnamon group saw their fasting glucose drop by 0.55 millimoles per liter and their HbA1c dropped by 0.2%. And I know that 0.2% doesn't sound like much, but that's clinically significant when we're talking about reducing diabetes complications. So you might be thinking, why tea? Why not just take capsules or sprinkle powder on your food? Here's what makes tea different. When you steep cinnamon in hot water, you're pulling out those active compounds, the cinnamaldehyde, the polyphenols, in a form your body can actually use. And you're getting them concentrated without having to choke down tablespoons of cinnamon powder, which let's be honest, 
nobody wants to do. But there's another reason tea works. It's about how you consume it. You're not just swallowing a capsule and moving on. You're sitting there sipping it over 10 to 15 minutes. That slower consumption creates a more gradual effect for your blood sugar instead of hitting your system all at once. Tea is just easier to stick with, better to tolerate, and it's easier to keep a consistency with it. Now, here's the protocol that the research actually suggests for insulin resistance support. The dose, three to six grams of cinnamon daily, that translates to about roughly one to two teaspoons of ground cinnamon steeped in hot water, or one to two cinnamon sticks, about two to three inches each, steeped for about 15 to 20 minutes. And the timing matters. You wanna drink cinnamon tea about 30 minutes before a meal that contains carbohydrates. This allows you to preload those enzymes, those inhibiting enzymes into your system, setting up your body to handle the glucose load more efficiently. The best meals to do this with are lunch and breakfast, not dinner. Slowing gastric emptying right before bed can cause a delayed glucose response or a spike while you're sleeping. So you don't wanna wake up at two o'clock in the morning with your meteor showing 300. <laughs> And there is a specific type of cinnamon you need to use. It's called salon cinnamon. The cinnamon in your cupboard right now is more than likely cassia cinnamon, which contains higher levels of cumarin. And it's very hard on the liver in large dosages. So make sure you get the right kind of cinnamon. The preparation, boil water. Add one to two teaspoons of ground salon cinnamon or two cinnamon sticks. Steep for 15 to 20 minutes. Because the longer you do the extraction, the more active compounds you'll have in your tea. Strain and drink 30 minutes before a meal. You can add a squeeze or a touch of lemon to it, but really keep it simple because you don't want anything to interfere with these ingredients and you want it to tackle what it's supposed to tackle, those carbohydrates digesting, improving your insulin resistance. And let me be clear about something. Cinnamon tea is not a replacement for fundamentals. If you're eating garbage and not exercising, not sleeping and thinking cinnamon tea will save you, it won't. Insulin resistance develops from years of metabolic stress. It's a tool, a powerful tool with real mechanisms and real clinical evidence, but it's part of a strategy, not the entire strategy. For instance, studies with cinnamon works better when combined with exercise. One study had people with type two diabetes do aerobic exercise with and without cinnamon supplementation. The group that did both saw significantly better improvements in adiponectin, a hormone that improves insulin sensitivity compared to just exercise alone. Adding exercise amplified cinnamon's benefits. Beyond glucose management, cinnamon is one of the most potent dietary antioxidants you can consume. It ranks higher than most fruits and vegetables on org scores. This matters for insulin resistance because oxidative stress drives inflammation and inflammation drives insulin resistance. It's a vicious cycle. The polyphenols in cinnamon help reduce oxidative damage at a cellular level. The bottom line is you're dealing with insulin resistance or prediabetes, and you're already working on fundamentals, which is your diet, exercise, sleep. Cinnamon tea could be the edge that helps tip the scales back in your favor. Your cells aren't doomed to be insulin resistant forever. They can become sensitive again, but it takes consistent effort across multiple fronts. And cinnamon tea is one of those fronts. And it's one of the easiest to implement starting today. This is David, and I hope this information was helpful. Being a type one diabetic myself, I know just how important dealing with insulin resistance is on your overall health. I'll see you guys in the next one.